Hi everyone, it's me. Um, I just want to do an update video for the day. Um, now that it's 10.24 p.m. Sunday, I am doing so much better. Um, although, you know, I still got looks like I got bad head, but anyway, doing, doing so much better. Um, this morning I took my medicines, my normal medicines, plus the new Lyrica, and it made me really drowsy, and I ended up taking a nap, and I think I was just overly exhausted, but once I got some rest today, and my aunt, and my aunt put this stuff on my, massage on my shoulders and stuff, yeah, it made things a lot easier. I just was going through so much trauma this morning, and I needed to work through it, and she helped me a lot. Tonight we went to a concert to see Micah Tyler. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. Um, I will try to insert some clips probably at the end of the video. Um, clips that my aunt took. But before they, before he performed, um, there was an introduction um, and then this lady um, came on stage and told her story and she wrote a book and so she had these books for sale but I went up there and talked to him and everything and just told them I was going through my own trauma and she actually gave me her book signed for free so I'm looking forward to reading it. It's called The Sober Cycle by Sherry Hoppin. Um, I started reading like the, um, she has gratitude page. And uh, I started reading that. But this is her story of her trauma and so I think I'll relate well. I'm looking forward to reading this. She was really nice too. Right now I'm having a snack because I just took my nighttime meds and, and stuff. So I'm having some core power and um, some cookies that I made. So. I'm trying to get more protein and I'm trying to eat better because I think, I don't know, I think I may have a slight, um, darn it, food issue. <laughs> Why can't I think of the word? Anyway, where I don't get it. I don't eat quite enough and so my body isn't getting enough of the nutrition it needs um, so this seems to be a repeating cycle at times because I've gone through this before and honestly this morning was the most difficult and I have gone to the hospital um, for times like I had this morning so the fact that I did not have to go to the hospital and I worked through it by talking and crying and praying, um, I'm just glad I didn't have to go to the hospital and I'm glad I felt better during the day. Um, it did make me drowsy though, the Lyrica. And anyway, I'm planning to go home. Tuesday morning sometime. I have an afternoon. I have to. 
Sorry, I have an appointment in the afternoon that I gotta get to. So anyway, it's been a great weekend though. I've had so much fun, but you know, fighting through the trauma and and panic and anxiety is difficult. But that's why I'm doing these videos. That's why I'm writing in my journal um, because talking about it helps me. It's therapeutic for me. And if it helps someone else even, all the better. But anyway, I think that's it for now. I'm also going to try to... Um, I think another video will be coming of Friday's activities at the Coast Guard. I was so exhausted when I got home, I didn't get to do that. So, that was the 80s concert. I had a blast at that one. So, anyways, thanks everyone. Peace and love. And thank you, thank you, thank you to those of you that are commenting or that are helping me by sharing your story. Like Mike in Florida and um, Dave in Canada, Saskatchewan or whatever. And then I have, you know, a couple friends that aren't on YouTube. Um, and of course, my close family, family members. Um, I am just so, so, so grateful. My mouth is a little dry. Um, and I know I'm probably a little fidgety, maybe. I'm, but I'm doing much better. And I'll just keep doing better. It's going to be hard. It's not easy. But day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute, if necessary, I'll make it through and I'm not alone because he is with me all the time all right peace and love bye bye and uh, while I was there um, I God just really impressed on my heart um, to surrender my life to ministry. And I felt like I had a youth pastor. It made a huge impact on my life. So at 17 years old, at East Texas Baptist in Camden, Newton, Texas, um, I told the Lord that I, I will follow you and I will serve you in whatever way you want me to for the rest of my life with ministry. Um, it wasn't a year later. Um, I met a girl named Casey in Spanish, too. Uh, couldn't even speak English to her when I met her. <laughs> And, and here's the thing, I couldn't speak Spanish either, which is a problem. That's why I needed some help on some paper, so I asked her if she wanted to study. And uh, we, we've been married for 17 years now, which is great. Yeah. Hey.